Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert DVD to digital format on a Windows computer. Why is it mandatory to convert your physical DVDs to digital formats like MP4, MOV, MKV, AVI, or WMV? Well, there are three main reasons for this. First, lots of people nowadays prefer watching DVD movies on mobile devices like iPod or iPad on the go. Second, people want to store their DVD movies on an external hard disk or SSD for a quick and easy access. For the third and most important reason is that people want to create a digital backup of their DVD collection to avoid disk rot, damage, or other unforeseen circumstances. So to be able to convert your physical DVDs to digital formats, you will need a reliable app which can do the job well. This is when apps like WinX, DVD Ripper come in. It is one of the best DVD converter applications for your Windows computer, especially Windows 11. This app can convert your DVDs to various digital video formats like MP4, AVI, WMV, MOV, or MKV quickly and conveniently. So let me demonstrate how this app works. First, you need to download and install WinX DVD Ripper from the link in the description. Once you've done that, it's time to run the app. Here I have WinX DVD Ripper on my desktop. Double click on it. This is the look of the app. So at the top menu, you see three different options. You can add your DVD content from a disc, from an image, or from a folder. In my situation, I have a disc, a physical DVD, inserted into my DVD drive. So I will click on the first option, disc. And as you can see right here, it recognizes and automatically select the DVD that I've inserted called HK Animals 2. So I just click on OK. And now it asks me to select the output profile, the format I want to convert to. Like I told you, WinX DVD Ripper can convert to tons of various video formats including MP4, AVI, MKV, WMV, and so on. So for general profiles here, you can see various video formats. You can even convert it to support various devices like Apple devices, Android Pad, Android Mobile, Microsoft device, Sony device, and other devices. But for demonstration purposes, I will select MP4 as the digital format. As you can see, it has been recommended right here. So I select that and click on OK. And if you take a look at this, we have an option saying Merge titles but it is in gray mode which means I cannot select it if you have more than one titles you can merge them together but because I only have one title that's why the merge button is in gray mode that I cannot select next if you want to edit the video first before you convert you roll your cursor onto the word edit right here click on it and right here is a place where you can edit the video. You can adjust the audio right here to be louder or lower. You can put subtitle to it. You can crop or expand the video. You can trim the video as well. Once you're done editing the video, you can click on done. Next, if you want to make changes to the resolution or other video profile settings, you move your cursor up to this setting icon right here. Click on it. It will show you this. This is the video settings. So as you can see right here, from the top, they say MP4 video. Because I selected MP4 as the output video format, it shows me these options. So they have two main options, video options and audio options. By default for video codec, H264 is selected. For frame rate resolution and aspect ratio, they automatically select keep original for you. But if you want to make changes to it, you can do so as well by just clicking on each of it. Like for example, frame rate, you can change it to let's say 30 for example. Resolution as well, you can keep original or change it to as high as 1920 by 1200. But to me, I would just keep everything original. It's recommended to do so. And for audio options, the same. You can make changes to it if you want to. But in my case, I just leave everything original as the DVD. So when everything is done, you click on OK. Next, you may want to take a look at the options on the right right here. We have Hardware Accelerator. So Hardware Accelerator is when it makes use of your processor to make the conversion process faster. Right now, both of these are TIC, Intel and NVIDIA. For my computer, the processor is Intel, so it ticked this automatically. And the next option is Use High Quality Engine. It is also recommended to tick this one so that it will convert your video in a high quality mode. Last but not least, before 
before you click run to start the conversion process, it is also a good idea to select your destination folder, the place where you want your video to be saved. So by default, it will be in the folder called WinX videos, but it's better to select desktop so that it's going to be easy to get access to. So I will select desktop there, click on select folder, and now it change to desktop. So once everything is ready, you click on run to start the conversion process. So it will take a while, just sit tight and wait for it. It won't take long. And as you can see now, they say all jobs have been completed. You click on OK. And it shows us the video that we have just converted at the moment. So let's play this video to see how it works. As you can see, the video quality is amazing. So with WinX DVD Reaper, you don't have to worry about your physical DVDs anymore. You just use this app to convert all of those physical DVDs to digital formats quickly and conveniently. If you're interested in the app, all the links are in the description. You can check them out. You can try with the trial versions first to see how it works. And if you find the app useful, you can go back to its official website through the link in the description and purchase the app genuinely. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below whether you like this app or not, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Also, I will be selecting two winners to win a lifetime license for WinX DVD Reaper next week. So if you want to have a chance to win this WinX DVD Reaper application for free, please comment down below and also subscribe so that you will be automatically entered to win. So have a great day guys. See you in the next video.